The Human Rights Watch has accused the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons and Other Offenses of Keeping Trafficked Victims in Closed Shelters Against Their Will. In a report entitled, You Pray for Death, Trafficking of Women and Girls in Nigeria, Continuing Anguish for Trafficking Survivors, the International Human Rights Organization also alleged that victims are denied access to their family members. Reacting to the allegations, NAPTIP's Director General Julie Oka Donnelly said the agency has been observing world best practices in handling trafficked persons as enshrined in the Palermo Protocol, which supplements the UN Convention Against Transnational Organized Crimes. It is equally wrong to say that the victims are not given access to their family members through personal contacts or through telephone conversations. Whenever they want to speak to their families or see them, within this the very short period of their stay there, they are allowed. However, the personal contact is made at any of the agency's offices and not at the shelter, as it will be dangerous to allow everyone to have knowledge of the location of the shelter. The NAPTIP chief executive was, however, disappointed that Human Rights Watch was quick to release its report some hours after its officials allegedly visited some zonal offices of the agency and spoke to unnamed officials and victims in the shelter. The Human Rights Watch report mentioned some unnamed officials of the agency as well as unidentified victims whom they claimed to have spoken with and they never spoke to any authorized person. This is quite curious. She further called on Nigerians and the international community to discountenance allegations raised against the agency and view it as falsehood designed to smear its image. Francis Atuko, CNA News.